Hey, it's Gale, guys. Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny. Yes, we're still on this Destiny grind, getting through every single Vault of Glass raid weapon that should be coming back next season with Season of the Spicer, obviously the Vault of Glass returning. And today is the last weapon. As I said, it's going to be the Prey Death Timepiece. Now, Prey Death Timepiece, I would say it was like a god tier weapon. It was decent, but not, it wasn't like everybody's like jam or anything like that. There was a time when Pulse Trap became meta again, and the Prey Death was actually up there with being it. But there was also other ones like, obviously, the Blind Perdition, which was just freaking nuts the messenger which was a trials weapon there was just so many weapons that were just outclassing this when it became meta but the Praetor's time piece actually wasn't a bad pulse even when it first came out this was a super sweet pulse the Praetor's time piece set vault of glass weapon it came with obviously article disruptor it had red dot oes or red dot oas it had obviously a focus lens as well it had the perk head seeker so body shots with this weapon increased precision damage for a short time which honestly in d1 this was a godsend because it went it wasn't easy to hit headshots for the magazine you had flared magwell you had field scale which increased the bullet mag our capacity and stuff like that and also you did have perfect balance which is obviously the best one because recoil you can see on console is insane and last but not least it had this really unique perk called secret round missing a shot from this weapon's burst will fire a fourth shot now this perk was actually it's a really cool seemingly good perk but the thing was that usually if you didn't miss a shot from the second or like from like the second or third bullet the fourth bullet probably would miss as well but the thing was that if it missed like the first one this thing used to come in super clutch and just kill a dude it used to be great honestly the predator's time piece you can see low impact pretty high rate of fire honestly it used to be a really really sweet pulse rifle but as i said it wasn't as well known as the other sort of raid weapons but the thing is in d2 right now there is a lot of good pulse rifles meta wise pulse rifles can absolutely wreck and that is why you should probably get excited if the predators does come back this thing could absolutely slap it's sort of like a hopscotch in terms of looks and everything but this thing might just absolutely destroy in d2 so without further ado let's go in and showcase why you should be slightly hyped for the predator uh, timepiece Alrighty, so we're gonna be on the Exodus Blue, and this is what it used to look like, boys. Anyone who plays D2, this is what the Exodus Blue was. But we're gonna have a pray to uh, timepiece. As I said, this wasn't like the most, I, I wouldn't say most influential weapon or the best one. There was a lot, of, basically, all the raid weapons were decent, but this one was like. One that not a lot of people really used. It was alright, it was just wasn't like. It was a god tier or anything like that, but you can see, it used to do some. Juicy damage now. That's a crypto dragon, so that's a triple tap. But yeah, it's a really rapid fire frame one. It's not the fastest, I don't think. I think there was faster, like the Hawks on and stuff like that. But this thing used to it used to be pretty good. At a time, there was a time where these pulse rifles became like meta and stuff like that. And this honestly used to be one of the good ones. Oh, and that guy's oh you the double kill. Oh shredded guys. I got the epic bro guy as well. That's all I'm happy about. But you can see that, oh my god, I just got freaking sniped. And there's a lot of people playing Destiny today, uh, Destiny today because uh, I think the maintenance obviously got people back to the game. But as I said, this weapon can absolutely slay out. Now, this guy's a one shot. So, oh, he tried to slap my ass again. No, sir. No, sir. But yeah, this weapon was just super good for uh, real fast kills. It was good DPS and everything. If you missed them, obviously, missing shots gave you that extra bullet as well. And also, hitting body shots gave you extra precision damage. So, it basically, it really worked for people that couldn't hit consistent crits. It was basically, you can't hit crits. No problem. We got two perks that are really good for dealing with that. Oh, I got this guy now, though. We'll get him there. We'll get him there. And oh, we traded with Nias Luna. You know what? I take that, I take that. But you can see it's actually decent damage. You can see, oh my god, that guy's HP is just gone. That guy's a one-shot, boys. He's a one-shot, and there we go for the assist. But you can see the damage is actually pretty sweet as said. It's super fast. It's a super fast pulse. If it was going to be a, a pulse in D2, it would probably be rapid fire frame and freaking connection. Would have got the shield, but it'll probably be rapid, a rapid fire frame one. That would most likely what it is. I know, obviously, I said they're probably faster in D1, but... But yeah, rapid fire frame is most likely what it's going to be. Just based off, obviously, how fast it fires and everything like that. You can see it can absolutely wreck. The only thing I would say is that this weapon would have been so much better with full auto or something. But, I mean, I can't really complain. That guy has to die, right? Oh, we got away. You got away. You got away. You know what? Screw this. There's people in here. I've got my radiance. Oh, oh my God. What the? Of course. Of course, it's a freaking guy with blades. And a freaking soul storm behind me or whatever it is. He was here, though. We'll kill his ass. And dude's flying. Oh, my God. He's on the outside of the map. They're the outside the map. <laughs> Come here, bro. Give me that freaking juicy booty. I'll melee it on any day of the week. And there's the damage it said. It can deal so well with even up close just because how fast the fires and everything like that. You can see its range honestly wasn't bad either. But it was definitely one of the lower sort of uh, range sort of pulses and stuff. So people used to kind of wreck with a lot more consistent ones in terms of damage and stuff. And I'm getting the assist. Oh, we got a kill. We got a kill somehow. We'll get this guy. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so freaking dead. Oh, no. No, 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 sir. No, sir. 
freaking I heard the freaking blaze behind me, but I couldn't escape. And who knew Destiny won't be so freaking chaotic? It's just people everywhere would get that kill. I said, you know, D2 is definitely oh my good god. D2 has off oh, or D1. It still has those red bars. You can see it on the right. They got rid of it in D2 where I told you what the connection was, but yeah. You still get those red bars who freaking you shoot at and they just disappear. Freaking impossible to shoot. You know, the specters of destiny and see. <laughs> Me too. Do a red barn to kill me. Uh, we are getting absolutely destroyed though. And I said like I mean proper destroy this got a sniper. And he's lagging, so there's the kill. I mean freaking red bars in this game. But yeah, we are getting absolutely freaking annihilated right now. I don't know what it is, but I'm just getting hit by everything freaking nazed. We get this guy. He's a one shot boy. Someone get him. God dang it. It wasn't a bad pulse. I think it was a decent one, but it was just in a meta where other things used to kill a bit faster or whatever. And oh my god. Freaking supers, but there was like obviously the meta wise, it just it wasn't really it wasn't really added. I mean, it was good and Hawksaw was good as well, but perks wise, as I said, it really relied on you not missing a lot, but it relied on you being not as accurate. Basically, you got a head sheet, got the fourth shot, so it kind of relied on you missing bullets, which obviously you know. Oh my god, an FPS that isn't really what you want to be looking for. Oh, we got this guy though, just because the game is about to end. I mean, we got absolutely dumpstered on. That's the greatest uh, greatest timepiece. I keep saying revenge, greatest timepiece in PvP. It honestly, wasn't bad. It was just it never really took the meta by storm because when it when it was a meta weapon There was better versions of it like the Hawks and stuff. But overall, it's not bad 14 kills all together though, 0.74 as I said we got dumpstered on Alrighty, so time for the PvE side of things and honestly Predators as well It wasn't too bad PvE, but you can see that it was an arc damage weapon So if you're gonna use PvE, it most likely be Fatebringer That was the question obviously, but the Predators wasn't too bad either as I said the Predators was it was already good for like getting ammo off quick But yeah, as I said Fatebringer kind of took the cake We've woken the hive. Oh, there's the chills again, boys. Probably the last time for like this week anyway, obviously, because we're running out of weapons and stuff. But this is the Praetor's timepiece in PvE. You can see that it honestly wasn't bad. It's like, as I said, as a bullet spray, but it was just, if you're going to use something PvE, and it was going to be like one of the old, like, obviously, Vault of Glass weapons, it would most likely be the old, um... Fatebringer. Fatebringer was just so good with Dragonfly. Even ATN's epilogue was really good for just mowing them mobs. Honestly, the Vision of Confidence is good too. I said the Praetors was never really, it never really became meta. It never really was used that often. For me anyway, I'm not saying that it was never used. Some people used I'm to love it, but dying light it definitely wasn't inside. as big a fan favorite as probably pre uh, the Vision, probably the other ones in terms of Vision, uh, Fatebringer, ATN's. It wasn't the GOAT. It wasn't up there, but it was still good. And as I said, in meta-wise in uh, Destiny 2, I'm far Pulses are actually super, super sweet. And if this is a rapid fire frame pulse, it's gonna absolutely wreck people. Like, it's honestly gonna just destroy them. Especially with the unique perk that I have with the fourth shot missing or missed shot. It does let you do it. Now, we need to leave so I don't complete the mission. No, I can feel it. <laughs> Well, that is it for me and the Praetor's timepiece. It is the adept version, but as I said, the Praetor's timepiece itself, it honestly was pretty sweet in PvE and PvP, but it never really took the forefront of the meta. It was never really just absolutely god tier in terms of slaying out everybody. Don't get me wrong, it was a good pulse and everything like that, but there was a lot in this archetype that kind of beat it. And as I said, this one was really to do with if you start missing shots, you get the secret round, and obviously the head seeker. So if you're hitting body shots or missing, it does help you in that regard. But back in the day, nobody missed. We don't miss, boys. Anyone from D1, all this D1 vests, we know we don't miss. But basically, back in the day and stuff, it was like Hawksaw. There was a bunch of Hopsaw. Pilgrim was another pulse rifle people used to use. There was a ton of pulse rifles that used to just do better than this. And this archetype wasn't that great until that one time when Hawksaw was just shredding everything. And that's the only time that these pulses, this archetype, became meta. And the Praetors was never really seen. Even in PvE, as I said, if you were going to use the Praetors, you probably had a Fate Bringer because obviously you did Vault of Glass to get the Praetors. You most likely had your Fate Bringer. And then obviously Fate Bringer was just insane. And then once Fate Bringer was gone, it was basically hung jury so pve wise predators and then pvp it didn't really shine as much as the other vog weapons i mean this is for me anyway personally what i think i know there are probably people who are like i used to use the predators all the time it was my favorite pulse ever it was the best pulse ever but for me i think the predators was probably the weakest and that's why it's the last one i'm doing it's probably the weakest out of all the weapons that you got from the uh, vault of glass raid in terms of primary weapons it was definitely the lowest in terms of that it doesn't mean though that's gonna be bad once it comes to d2 as i said d2 rapid fire frame pulses are actually insane they are super, super good. And even if it is a different uh, archetype of pulse, these pulses can go in. And if it does get something like Seek Around or even like a Desperado Roll or something like that, because you can see it sort of it sort of looks like the Redrick's Broadsword. It's like, not a light, it basically is. So if it is the same sort of weapon over to make them 340 or whatever, even though it's really high frame fire in this game. If it does come back sort of like a 340 or something with Desperado, it honestly will be freaking nuts. It will be super good. As any, any archetype of pulse rifle, 
I honestly think. Pray this will be sweet. It will actually shred out. It will definitely be good Destiny 2. Not that good D1, but D2, it will be turned and freaking evolved, metaphor, mor metamorphosed or something like that, into something even better. That's what I think, anyway. Pray this time, peace. Vault of Glass. Gonna be sweet once it comes back. But regardless, if you like the video, trust like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe. Have a fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.